Assalamu alaikum welcome to another session today we are going to talk about the PLC memories before going into detail about the PLC memories it's really important to understand what is USB and what is RAM and we will relate these to the PLC memory and you will enjoy the training because it will make things very easy it is considered as a complex topic but let's see we will try to make it very easy so that you can understand it very well because it's really important to understand the PLC memory if you are trying to understand the PLC it is the first step you should know about the PLC memories USB normally is considered as like data storage device where data gets retained even in the case of power loss like if in the case you are connected your USB you transfer the data from laptop to the USB and later on your laptop power goes like due to any reason you have low battery and laptops get turned off in the case of power loss even data in the USB will retain in there then we have uh, another type of the memory that we use is a RAM in RAM what, what is happening around like whenever you like when you are executing some program in what is actually the concept of the RAM let's understand it whatever is we are running like for example we have running we are running different applications on we are running the games and all so these are all coming to the working memory or running memory you can see so this is all through the RAM so like for example the data that are the execution of the programs or execution of the distant task or execution of different processes that is going on uh, is normally in uh, what we call it in the RAM. So RAM is considered as a device that stores stores information of whatever the, you are working on the system work at that time whatever the memory that system you are utilizing is RAM. So that's the reason we say like if in the case you have higher RAM it makes your system fast because this is the working memory of your system. So this con but the problem here in the RAM is in the case of power loss whatever is in the working memory it will get lost so you will not able to retain that information you will not able to get that information back so that's what we have in the RAM let's take an example of house and then correlate this information and what we cover about USB and RAM with the PLC memory it will make your, your understanding very clear we have a house house consists of different rooms and every room has a specific pro a purpose like for example we have a kitchen we have a, a drying room we have a TV ro room and these are all different rooms that are there in kitchen you cannot sleep and in the drying room you cannot cook there so for every purpose for every specific function we have a separate room in our house so same is the case for every specific storage PLC uses a different type of memories like for example we have a load memory first and then we have working memory system memory retentive memory in load memory we have two time of the memories but what is the load me memory whenever we download the program the PLC memory that we use for storing whatever we are downloading the program to the CPU is called load, mem load memory and that's two types of the load memory one is internal and one is external load memory internal is in co old kind of a CPUs of uh, Siemens PLCs where we had like you know like in the case of power loss we were not able to actually store the information there so if you don't have a battery backup we will lose information we will lose the program we will lose whatever we have in you know that memory so now in in our current scenario whatever we are having here like in the case of external load memory it's it's like that so in external load memory we are using actually MMC cards what are these micro memory cards these are specific Siemens PLC's card that we use to plug in there you can see here this card is there it's just like a card that we use normally in a mobile card a mo in a mobile like we have cards right so that cards are where we store store the data uh, 
we have some specific storage in our mobile but we want to have additional data we normally use the memory card for that same is the case here in the PLC we actually are using the same kind of a cards it's it's specific to the definitely in Siemens PLCs but the purpose is same like it's just like a storage so even the case of power loss you will still have a data retained in these MMC cards so we, you will not lose the data in external type of the load memory in the case of power loss let's go next working memory so whenever like I was telling you like a RAM in the RAM what we are doing like CPU uh, tasks that are we are running currently are actually going to the RAM and RAM memory we are using it for that purpose so same is the case here running program normally transferred to this part of the memory that's what we call it working memory so uh, that's what we have uh, working memory that running program normally transfer to that and then we have a system memory system memory is used for addressing in the PLC program like for example if we have an input I 0.0, .0 that's coming from the for example one push button so this I 0.0, .0 is addressing that we use to identify some specific uh, plant, plant device or plant input so our plant instrument so then this particular address is going to be stored somewhere in the memory so memory area where we are using to store the addresses that is used for addressing in the PLC program is called system memory then we have a retentive memory that's a permanent memory so whatever we are we, we, we want to actually uh, retain in our system or in CPU of uh, PLC that is normally we use to store in retentive memory so that's what we call it permanent memory hope you are enjoying the series of IT on automation academy we will try to have a, another session later on at the end of the PLC series about the PLC memories if thank you very much for watching this video if you like it hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel for subscribing all you have to do is you have to come on this subscribe button right over here click on that and you're not done yet because you have to put on notification here send me all notification for this channel and then save by this way you will not miss any video from IT and Automation Academy thanks all for joining that thank you very much bye